Okay, this table would be stainless. It would be 304. The top would be brushed. Uh, just a heads up, the sides would not be brushed. That would look like angle iron. And I would just TIG weld, and I, I wouldn't even, for what I'm thinking, I wouldn't even weld the entire seam unless they want it to be leak proof. Um, but I would TIG, I would stitch TIG weld the seam between this top and that angle iron. Um, but that's going to leave you a little bit of a different uh, finish, surface finish, right? Because I'll, I'll get brushed for this, and this will come as raw mill stock. Um, but it has the dimensions you're looking for, 34, 35 inches tall, 30 inches deep, uh, 5 feet wide. Uh, I didn't put this table exactly in the middle because it's stronger if I build it as a cube like this. But uh, these are 10 and a quarter inches tall, plus another quarter of an inch for the mounting plate. So you're 10 and a half to here, plus another 2 inches there. So this shelf is... 12 and a half inches off the ground um, that's that's pretty high uh, let me know if they're if they're okay with that or not um, I would put braces underneath the middle of the bottom and since you said you didn't need as much weight down there I put two braces on the top um, but I would I would that's how I would handle people slamming stuff down on the top this would all be made out of uh, eighth inch which is a uh, 11 gauge stainless and uh, I would just, instead of trying to use a sheet metal break or something, I would just weld that on the back and then round these corners off. So let me know if that's what you think will work, and I'll, I'll get you over a number. Thank you.